restorative circles is a very it's a container for for handling different difficult conversations but it's intervening very little and when something happens we wish for somebody to come and 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 tell us what to do sometimes but what many people might not see is that that could be wonderful but what we lose is the path the growth the our ability to become the capable persons who in the future will conquer those challenges and if we truly hear the other side, if we sit and we follow the principles of restorative circles, which is that we, we listen first and we reflect back to make sure that the person who spoke does, uh, feels heard. And if we truly hear the other person, we almost always sense like, okay, I get it. If I was on the other side, I would feel the same thing. And to me, this is when the, the unity aspect comes in and we, yeah, we feel united. So to me, Auroville and the path towards unity, we can, we can go and meditate in a cave and that can give us a lot. But in the end, if we want to do it in community and do it here uh, in the material world, connected with the spiritual world, then conflict is a great opportunity to go beyond ourselves and see the other side and connect and understand and, um, yeah, and really integrate it as a part of our yoga. So this is a, like on the individual level for us to be to be able to be on the individual freedom journey where we need to go but together on a collective journey towards unity so we can learn as a community to tap into the potential of conflict and if we dare to stay with it we will learn a lot i think um, i also like to uh, compare it to natural farming and it's this idea that we if we intervene too much we don't know what we change and we don't know what we lose and we might see instantaneous results and we can celebrate those but how do we know what we will not get what do we how do we know that the soil will be resilient for years how do we know that our community will be resilient and conflict in conflict and handling conflict years to come and what do we do when that favorite facilitator mediator is not there so these questions i really I really think about these and I, that's why I'm really intrigued about restorative Orville and restorative circles.